Right, we'll try this again. It's about the third time I've tried this. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old Magic Roundabout, we've got a uh, Polosti, Pol 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 you'll have a look in a minute when I turn it over, uh, Rolls-Royce. Now this is the uh, for the DMC challenge for this month, and it's a change of um, subject because uh, this is going to be our tribute to our late queen. So um, it's basically any vehicle owned by her or um, she's used and has got her in her garage or, or whatever they call it. She's got a load of them. And I've noticed that she's got two of these. One's a metallic blue and one's, a, a I think, it's a goldy colour. So I'm going to do the metallic blue one. Okay, well, I'd just like to welcome any new friends to the channel. Welcome board. Thanks for for joining and uh, welcome back old friends of the channel. Thanks for sticking with me. It's much appreciated. Look forward to your comments. So, DMC challenge for our queen, our late queen. So here we go. Let's get it off the magic, get it on a bench and see what we got. Okay, we've turned the chair around. We're on the bench and let's see what we got right now. My, as you know, my pronunciation is rubbish. So here we go. It's uh, a poly, polystil, polisio, P O L I S L I L, something like that, polisio. I take it it's, uh, it's made in Italy anyway. Okay. You guys know what it is. And no doubt you'll be, there'll be a string of comments at our pronunciation, terrible pronunciation names really, really am. I struggle to remember my own name sometimes. But anyway, nice little model, this, quite nice. Same size as a Corgi and Denki. Really nice, rubber tyres. Draw emblem on there, the front there. Got the plastic glass at the front there. Got the interior, door cards, windscreen. And uh, opening doors, opening Bonnet, opening boot, sorry. Opening bonnet. It's all there. I'm not a great lover of silver cars. There you go. So yeah, I know she had two she had two. I saw a picture of two of these. One's a blue and one was a gold colour. So screw base. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna change the colour of the outside and we're gonna change the colour of the inside. Okay. Alright. So here we go. So let's get a screwdriver and crack it open. Don't know if that will do it or not. Yeah, there we go. Let's crack this bad boy open. Well, hope everybody's okay, doing well. There you see it, there you go. Right, that's so what we've got here. Let's have a look. Okay, it's plastic base, this, by the way. Lift up the front, lift and separate. The back, oh, that's different. Yeah, basic plastic. I'm not going to take them. Oh, don't need to. It's coming apart. Look, I was going to say I'm not going to take them out, but they just pop out. That's cool. That's the base. Oh, hello. What have we got here? How's it going to get that interior out of there? Oh, we'll get rid of the bumper first. Ah, and the headlights. Look, the headlights are coming out with the bumper. Look, we lose them. One, two, yeah, they're coming out look, with the with the front bumper. I was lucky, didn't lose them. That's the front bumper out. Now where are we at? Let's look at the see. Now the boot. Yeah, that boot is well and truly in there. If I grind that, we'll try and spread it. I don't know. I might try and spread it, but this one's in there really tight and I think if I if I do that I'm going to lose its stiffness so I might have a look see if I can paint it with a boot on right okay right how do we get this inside out with that there that don't come out right okay I know let's have a look at this first let's get see if we can get this oh, does that come out Separate. Oh, that's loose. Okay, let's have a look. Open the doors. 
Well, there's something underneath here. Let's just gently prise. Oh, here you go. It's coming out now. You're just, just pushing down on that screwdriver there. And then the whole thing comes out. Look at that. Windscreen as well. And that just that just pulls out two pegs on there. So that's good. I think that's one piece. Yeah. So that's one piece. That's cool. Door cards. Now we're going to leave the doors in. We could we could leave the doors in, I suppose, couldn't we? Let's have a look and get the engine out first. Okay, so like tilt forward, typical Rolls Royce fashion. Ah, yeah, that's just lifting up, look. That's just dropped out. Looked like it had some glue, bits of glue on that, look. Well, that was fairly easier than I thought it was going to be. Could I leave that on? No, I'm going to take the bonnet. I'm going to have to take the bonnet off because you ain't going to get paint in there. That's going to be a bit of a, a cock up, isn't it? Might be able to get that out. As you can see, where the bonnet is underneath there, and that side, it's not going to come out easily, is it? The one side's come out. Oh, I'll have to investigate that. I mean, let's get his door cards off. See if we can get his door cards off. I want something a bit thinner than that. So I'll get his... See if they'll come off. Yeah, they're coming off easy enough. Oh, that's one. Comes off with the window. That side. Oh, no, that's not come off with the... That's come off separate. Never mind. Let's see if we can get that out anyway. Slide the tool underneath. Yeah, it's coming out. There you go. Got it. Use any tools necessary you can find. I was picking up bits and pieces of tools and thinking, oh, I could use that, I could use that. Yeah, maybe leave the doors in, do you think? I don't think they're going to come out very easy, are they? Maybe I should get be out and get paint behind there. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could probably leave the doors in. Right, let's see about getting this... Let's come out, let's back in there. So I'll just prise that a fraction. Just a tiddly bit, just a... See if I can get it to come out. Without breaking the lugs off, I don't want to break the lugs off. You can help it. Right, I'm going to have to look into that. Let's get his back bumper off. See how that's coming out. Push. 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 There you go. That's out. Yeah, okay. I'm going to need a minute to fiddle about getting in there and I'm going to keep going off camera if I'm not careful. I've got to be very careful I don't break the lug on that. Because I mean, I would normally leave it on, but because of the way the bonnet dips behind that wing there, it's going to make it awful difficult to spray. And chances are you're going to rub the paint off. So I'm going to have a look, see how you get this, I can get this out. You know what I'm looking at anyway. I'm trying to get that out. That one's come out okay. But that one hasn't, and I don't want to lever it and snap it off, even though it seems to be quite strong. 
I don't want to. So I look, I'm maybe just trying to just spread that a fraction with something. I'm going to find a tool that I can get in there and spread that a fraction and pull that out. I'm definitely going to leave the doors on and I think maybe the boot as well. Because they've got a great tendency, if you're not careful, snapping these off. I don't want, really want to do that. Old. Might get my head chopped off by the royalty, might not. Yeah. And not only that, if I do take it, I ain't going to go back together again, is it? Right. Let me try and find something to get this off. Right, after a lot of messing about, I managed to get it, the bonnet out. Now, how I'm going to get it back in, I don't know. But you can, luckily I didn't break it off. I managed to spread in there gently, bit at a time, spread it. But the way to put it back in is to uh, virtually have it flat. You've got to go at an angle. I have to get it out at an angle. And... Uh, it's not these, I'll be so careful, you see, like, I'll get it in an angle like that, then get it flat, and then bring it over. So, yeah, it's, uh, it was a tongue-in-cheek and, uh, grip hold of your seats moment. I didn't break anything. I think putting it back would be easier than getting it out. I had to sort of twist it at an angle like that, bring the pin back over there, drop that out. So we've got that out. The doors... What I basically done was I had a look at it and I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just pop the spring off the top of that post and the doors come out quite easy. You have to put, that, um, when they're in there, you have to open them and kick them in like that and they'll just come straight out. So that was fairly straightforward. Uh, the boot, well, I didn't break anything on the boot. So I thought, well, I've got the bonnet off and I've got the doors off. I might as well go to the boot as well. And, uh, yeah, so I used my trusty screwdriver and my little toffee hammer and just held it and just tapped it against the biggest, the strongest one of these and it just lifted it enough, as you can see. If I will focus there. Just lifted it enough to get this back in. So you're best laying it flat when you put it back in and then I'll just uh, tap them back over again. So, it was a bit of a success. Yeah, I didn't show up or You know, it's like if you've ever done something like this, you're trying to do it on camera, you keep going out of shot and you've got your hands in the way and uh, and what have you. So, yeah, that's stripped. So, I don't know how the paint's going to come off this. I really don't know, but we'll see. Hopefully, it'll come off fairly straightforward. Uh, tyres, rubber tyres. We'll pull them off. There you go. Nice set of tyres these on here. No remoulds on this one. Plastic hubs. Must remember that. Let's clean them. Right. So we're all stripped. I better find a bucket. I put it all in now, and I. Okay. Tidy up. Put my tools on the bench. There we go. Right. Stripping time. Okay. Moving forward with the roller. It's painted. Now what I've gone ahead and done, uh, this is a uh, metallic blue pearlized paint. It's had three coats on it. And what I've gone ahead and done, and put the boot and a bonnet and the doors back on because they, seriously, they were a pain. Because, you know, I took that spring out and I've, it took me half an hour or so to get these back in. And the, and the as you know, with the bonnet and the boot, trying to open those really, really tough clamps the boots are all right, I need some touching up round here. But the bonnet, like I said, the bonnet was uh, always going to be a problem. Uh, I managed to get it to, to operate, but it's very weak. It's, it's, very, it's very weak, so I'm not going to keep operating it. Um, it's, I struggled to get the pin in. And it, and it bent the pin slightly, made it, it's made it quite weak. So that's why I've gone ahead and done that. I knew I'd have a problem with it because they were really tight to get out. And you couldn't get a grinder in, you had to sort of prise them out. 
But getting her back in was, poof, and the chips and paint, trying to tap them back in. Hence this bit here is a little bit chipped. But yeah, apart from that, we're in. We've got the door cars back on. So I had to put them back on. I just couldn't get the doors back on otherwise. So they opened the shut okay. So I've got some touching up to do around here with, this always happens when you're putting doors back on with metallic paint especially. Um, so that won't take long to touch that up. So next bit, I've done the interior. I've done it in this like a tan color. Okay. All right, so that's back in. And uh, these are only pushing axles, look, they're just pushing and push out. So I'll just put them in there for safekeeping. So it's in out, that's it, We're back in. I put the molotov on though, could brighten them up a little bit. So really, we're at the assembly stage. We've still got the bumpers to put on, we've still got the lights to put in, so and the interior to go in. That's going to be a tight squeeze getting in there. I have put it in once and took it out again, just to see if it was going to go in okay. But yeah, a bit disappointed about the bonnet, but I knew that was going to happen. I had a sneaky feeling that I, I was going to, that one of the pins was going to break or both break, but luckily I, one of them is just really, really weak now. So that's just one of them things. So beware if you're going to do one of these. I should have gone with my first instinct and left the bonnet and the boot on and the doors on. But, you know, you don't know till you try, do you? So I'll do another one, I shall leave in the bonnet and the boot on. But because it's so close here, painting with the bonnet on, it's gonna be it was gonna be awkward. So whichever way you're gonna do some sort of damage, whether it be paint damage or whether it be breaking a pin off. So there you go. So when I've got it all together, I will touch up touch it all up before we go on the magic. Okay, so I'm gonna get the magic carpet out and we'll have a look. All right, see if we can get this bad boy together. Feet. Interior. It's going to be a squeeze. You have to push it right underneath. Like so. Push it from the back. Squeeze it right down. Okay. So that's the interior in. Shut the doors now. Okay, make sure she's sitting at the back. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, let's get the back bumper in. That should just push in like so. It's the back end. Front bumper. That just pushes in like so. Oh, we're getting there. we get this around the right way. Yeah, spare wheel at the back. It's got two clips. You just push in the back there somewhere. Like so. You should be okay. You're good to go. Yep. Screws. We'll get these in before we put the headlights in. Screws, screws, screws. Well, that's a wrong flipping screwdriver, ain't it? What's we doing with that? One. And two. Two. There you go. Make sure the door operates okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the door's in there okay. 
Done a little bit of dials on the dashboard there. All right, and light. You got one long bit and a short bit on there. So the long bit goes in like so. And your short bit. So it's your long tag to the outside. And there's your lights in. So there we have it. And she's a smooth roller, like a roller should be. It's a smooth operator. Yeah. Both doors so open. And the bonnet or bands. So that's all there. Okay. We just touch it up and get it on the magic. Down. There you go. One Queen's Rolls Royce. Seat packs want to go back a bit. There you go. Right. Touching up time. This is what we started with, a uh, silver Rolls Royce with black interior. Uh, so now we can see what we've done with it and how it turned out. Have a look at this. Have a look. Here we go then. The DMC challenge for this month was a tribute to our late queen. Any vehicle that she owned or driven in her stable. So I took this Polosti, or Polosti, Italian die cast, which is a boring silver. And I turned it into uh, one of the vehicles that I've seen in the picture that she owned. She owned two of these. Well, I think one was a bronzy colour, one was a uh, this blue. So there you go. That's what we got. So it's a complete repaint. Inside and out. Uh, you've seen all the doors and boot open, they're all set. I'm not going to keep doing it because I've just touched it up where it was scratched. <coughs> we're putting the boot and the bonnet and the doors back on. Obviously, you're going to get scratches. So I've just touched all those in. So, and I'll just put some tail lights in and some front lights. So, this is the DMC challenge for this month. So, you've got two videos this week. You've got this one and the one tomorrow. There you go. Well, if you're interested in a DMC and joining one of the challenges, uh, it's a DMC on the Facebook, Diecast and Models Community. Feel free to come across and uh, post your work, join in the challenges. You don't have to have a YouTube channel to join in the challenges. You can take uh, pictures and post them. There you go. Alrighty then. Okay, well, thanks for looking at this one. And I'll see you, well, you'll see me tomorrow on the weekly Wednesday one. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.